chair mo ni dako na ni chair mo ni akong bang estudyante Teacher, I can't hear anything. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning, teacher. Yeah, have we have we met before? Are you my demo? You have demo with me or no? Maybe. Oh, so you're the one who are going to study IELTS? Are you the one? Because I, I, I at that time you're wearing a glasses. Uh, what did you say? Okay, so okay. I just thought you are the one whom I had my demo last week. You had demo with teacher Anne because you came from Tu Thrang, the Vietnamese teacher. And the Vietnamese teacher told me that you want to study with me. So I wonder how did we met? Okay, maybe in the demo? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now, so you are going to study pet with me. Pet, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, I will show you now. Okay, by the way, do you have your English name? Are you, I forget, uh, what's your name? Do you have English name? Yes, my name is Ruby. Ah, Ruby. Okay, okay, Ruby. Okay, so really I haven't met you yet. Okay, this is my first time. Okay, so now here, okay, look at here. How old are you? Um, let's say uh -huh. I'm 14. You're 14, okay. And then you are grade 10? I uh, know, grade 8? Yes. Oh, you're grade 8. And you know me, Elred. You know me. How did you know me? How did you know teacher Anne? Um, uh, let's. Uh, there one time I studied with the teacher Ang. Ah, you studied yeah. with me. Oh, sorry, I forgot. And then? And then that's, uh, that's why I meet. Okay. So, yeah, actually, uh, I saw it in, in the profile, in the email that the Pantado given to me. And then I checked 
all your accounts and then I found out that you study pet with me. You have the demo because as I check it, all the comments that teacher Anne given here in here in the email is from teacher Anne. I am the one who made this. So I the student speaks clearly. It wasn't that perfectly defined, but it's clear and easy to understand. The student's grammatical structure is not that perfect, but she was able to have clear and proper construction of sentences. Oh, see, this is all from teacher Anne. Okay. Okay. So, yes. by the way, so my name is Teacher Ann. I am your English teacher now. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Wow. Very good. Okay. So, I can again, what is your English name? My English name is Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. You know that Ruby is a stone? Do you know that? Ruby is a stone. No, I know. Yeah, so that's a precious. It's a precious gem. It's a stone. Okay, so now here. So, Ruby, so teacher will introduce you before we will have our pet. Okay, I hope you have your pet already. So, before we have our pet, I will check first. Okay, I need to double check. Okay, so you've got to study pet with teacher Anne. Okay, level pet. Okay, so now let's start with pet 1.1 reading. Okay, so before anything else, I would like to introduce some of the vocabulary words. We have here the word refreshment. Okay, refreshment. Can you see that? Can you see this? I can see. I can okay. see. Okay. Can you please spill out? I know. Speak up. Refreshment. Refreshment. Uh, refreshment. Refreshment. Okay. This is a noun. Okay. So you do know what is refreshment. You know what is this? I do not. Okay. This is a drinks and a small amounts of food that are provided or sold to people in a public place or at a public event. Okay. So like the soda. You know what is soda? You know what is that? Yes. Oh, yes. No. Yeah. Juice. Okay. That's refreshment. Anything that you drink. Example, you are thirsty. You want to drink. So you have to buy some refreshment, okay? Something that provided or sold to people in a public place or at a public event, that refreshment. It will refresh you from the word refresh, okay? Example, you are thirsty, of course. Okay, this one, refresh. Okay, you are thirsty and you want to drink something cold? Oh, so that is refreshment. Do you understand now, Ruby? No, I understand now. Okay, very good. Okay, later in your homework, I will let you make an example using the given word, this one. What do you call this? Okay, can you please read? Mm. Yeah. Neat. Okay, this is an adjective. So the other meaning for the word neat is tidy or clean. Okay, clean or you are tidy and in order, carefully done or arranged. Okay, all the things in the table are neat or properly arranged. Okay, that is one. Okay, very easy to understand. Clean, another one. What is this word? What is this? Do do spa. What is this? Can you please read this? Deposit. Um, deposit. Deposit. Yeah. Do you know deposit. the word? Deposit. Yeah. The deposit. T t. Deposit. Deposit. Yeah. Deposit. D 
Do you understand this? Hmm. Do you have any idea what is this word? Mm, no. Oh, deposit. No, it means sum of money that is given as first part of the larger payment. Example, you have lots of money, many. So you will go to the bank. You know where, where is the bank in Vietnam? Mm, yes, I know. Okay. You will go to the bank, you will put money. That is what we call deposit. Okay, that example. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I deposit my money in the bank, teacher. I deposit my money in the bank. Okay? Okay. Okay. There a picture. Okay. Next one. Okay. Clear? You understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay, very good, Ruby. Next one. Okay, what do you mean by the word? Can you please read this word? Oh, sorry, sorry. What is this word? Sure. Charge. Sure. Um, charge. Charge. Okay, it is sure. now. Hey, charge for something. The amount of money that somebody asks for goods and services. Again, the amount of money that somebody asks for goods and services. This is charge. Again, the amount of money that somebody asks for goods and services. That is charge. Charge for something. Okay, example. Okay. This is the amount of money that somebody asks for goods or something. Example, you broke the mobile, your cell phone of your classmates. You broke it. And then your classmate told you, Ruby, you have to pay for that cell phone or for that mobile that you broke. Okay. Oh, I don't have money. Okay, if you don't have money, I will charge you to buy another cell phone and give it to me. So it means you will have to replace something because you broke the cell phone. You broke the mobile phone. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Or you will pay. I will pay, teacher, because I broke the mobile of my classmates. You understand that? You understand? Ruby, you understand? I understand. Okay, very good, Ruby. Okay, now here. Oh. Okay. Can you please read this one? Cars. Okay, it's the, what is that? The land beside or near to the sea or the ocean. Okay, this is noun, okay. When you say this, this is the land beside or near to the sea, just near. Your house is here, example. This is the land beside or near to the sea or the ocean. Okay, another one, what is this? The cost and then the fin, okay. Fin is a thin flat part that sticks out from the body of a fish used for swimming and keeping balance. It's the fin. Okay, you need a fish? The fish has a fin, a thin plat part that sticks out from the body of the fish used for swimming and keeping balance. I know. Okay. Okay, you understand? Okay. So fin, okay. In the fish, okay, there is a fin. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how to wait, wait for a while. <laughs> okay, just like this. Okay, here, teacher is. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh, this is. Okay, this is the fin. Okay, you understand now? 
Yes, I understand. Okay, very smart girl. Okay, very pretty. I haven't seen you. I sorry, Ruby. I maybe I forgot you. Uh, that I I really don't know if we met before or you have studied with me before. Okay. Wow, you are you are pretty girl. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So here, look at this one. What is this? Can you please read this one? Um, what is the this is one? This stalker? No, yeah, snorkel. A snorkel, it's a noun. Yeah, it's a noun. It's a tube that you can breathe the air through when you are swimming under the surface of the water. It look like that. So when you go swimming, it's some kind of, uh, what's that? It's a materials. It's some kind of a tube. You will put it here in your mouth so you can breathe in when you go swimming in the surface of the water in the beach yeah so it's like that so you will put that like looks like there's an oxygen that you will put it here that's what we call the snorkel a tube that you can breathe the air put it here in your nose put it there like that that's snorkel okay you understand this very easy okay easy okay yeah the important thing ruby is you need you have to understand the words it's very important okay teacher Anne will not proceed oh this one this is the snorkel. Actually, there is a picture. Okay. This is the fin. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Can okay. you see that? Yeah. Okay. So clear now. You understand the word. You understand? Ruby? I understand. Very good. So we studied today the word one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pin and snorkel. Okay, there are seven words we studied today, okay? The cost is uh, charge. Okay, so great job. Okay, so let's move now, okay? Now here, look at here. This is question one to five. This is only the example. I will give you the example first before you will have to answer. By the way, do you know how to write in the computer? Do you know how to write? Yeah, like this. Do you know how to write this? Like, uh, like that. Huh? Okay, like this. Uh, teacher. And okay, do you know how to do that? Do you know how to write? Do you know how to write, Ruby? Yeah, I, I wow. know. I know. Wow, that's good. That's one. Uh, that's that's quite good. Okay, so we have here. You look at the text in each of the question. What does it say? Mark the correct letter A, B, or C. Okay, what you are going to do? You have to work with your comprehension in here, okay? Teacher Anne, what will I do? You have to please comprehend or understand these words, okay? Here, there is a caption in this in a card, okay? The lost floppy desk, lost on Tuesday. What is lost? It's floppy desk. Lost on Tuesday, it contains important schoolwork. Hand in to the office. Okay, so what do you think is the meaning of that? The answer here is letter C. Okay, look at letter C. So if you have found a floppy desk, please leave it at the office. Okay, so you will gonna or you have gonna do like this. You will have to think what do you mean with this word inside. This one. Okay. Do you understand? I understand. Jo. Okay. Yeah. Hey, great job. Okay. Let us see, Ruby. Okay. Great job. Okay. Now, let us start now. Okay. So now, look at this one. 
Okay. Before we see four and five here, we have here the word refund. Refund. Okay. It's a verb. I will refund. Refund. It's a verb. It means Juan Tien. Juan Tien. I don't know. It's in Vietnamese. Juan Tien. Refund. Okay. It means you will have to pay something for what you have damaged. I will refund money for that. Okay, so now look at this one. Let us start number one. Look at number one. What do you think is inside this box mean? Students, your six pounds deposit for the locker case won't be refunded if case are lost. What do you mean by that? Please try to encircle the correct answer. I think that is B. T, letter B, teacher N. Letter B. Okay. Letter B, teacher. Students. Okay. This is an attention. Students, your six pounds deposit for the locker case won't be refunded. It will not be returned. If your case are lost, so what is your answer? You cannot collect your locker key until you have paid six pounds deposit. Oh, let us see if your answer is correct. Letter B, is that final? B? Go to B, it's yes. okay now? Yes. Okay. okay. Teacher, it's letter B, teacher. Ten. Oh, the answer is letter C. So it means it's quite near. We cannot return your six pounds deposit if you lose your K, if your locker K. So it means you cannot, we cannot return because it is not refunded. It could never be returned. So it could, it is not refunded. So we cannot return. So refund, it means return okay you understand now ruby okay yes. you understand okay now try number two please try number two okay Joe, can you get me a Fast Boys t-shirt from their concert tomorrow? I like the purple ones, but another color is okay. If they haven't got one in my size. Thanks, Hannah. So this is a letter for Joe from Hannah. Okay, what do you mean by this letter? Please try to understand what is this letter all about? You have the choices A, B, or C. I choose the letter B, teacher. I choose the letter B, teacher. So what you choose is that, Hannah, okay, teacher will read it again. Listen, Joe, can you get me a Fast Boys t-shirt from their concert tomorrow? I like the purple ones. This is from Hannah. But another color is okay. If they haven't got one in my size. Thank you. 
Hannah. Okay, so the choices. Letter A. Hannah has got a purple Fast Boys t-shirt and wants one in another color. That's letter A. Letter B. Hannah would rather have purple Fast Boys t-shirt if possible. That's letter B. Letter C. Hannah only wants a Fast Boys t-shirt if it's purple one. Okay, what is your answer? Letter? Letter B, teacher. Letter B, teacher. And okay, correct. Very good. Yes, exactly letter B. Why? Because Anna's, Hannah said, I like the purple ones. I like. So Hannah likes it. But if there's another color that would be okay, that is quite the same size with her size. So it means Anna can have like purple, but it's okay if it's another. Okay, so Hannah would rather have purple fast boys if possible. Okay, very good. Okay, letter number three. Look at number three. Great job, Ruby. Very good. Number three, what is that? Class five, garden party. 17th of July, 3.30 p.m. Because of the bad weather, tomorrow's party will now be in the school hall. Please give party food and drink to Mrs. Bloom by 11 a.m. So you have to give food and drink to Mrs. Bloom by 11 a.m. Earlier than the party, which is 3.30 p.m. Okay. What has changed about class five's party? What has changed? Please try to understand. Um, I think that is B. Letter B, B teacher. What is letter B? It's the place? Okay, yes. let us check this. A is the time. Does the time change? No. No. Nah, it's the same. Okay, that's the refreshments. Same? No. It's not mentioned. Actually, it's only food and drink given to Mrs. Bloom. And aside from that, nothing else. So, letter B is your answer. Let us see. Oh... Okay, correct. Very good. It's the place or the venue because of the bad weather. So they need to move the party and the school hall. Okay. Instead, it's a garden party, but the weather is not good. So they have to move it to the school hall uh, near uh, inside the school. Okay. Number four. Please try to answer number four. Okay, very good. Two, correct? Look at number four. Becky, don't forget your aunt's change coming to stays tonight. So can you, yeah? Uh, can you wait me a, a little moment? Yeah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just understand. Okay, just tell teacher. Uh, I need to go to the toilet. Okay, no problem. Sorry. Okay.
Sorry, teacher, I'll take your time. Okay, so we have here, okay, you answer number four. Okay, just read it first. Teacher? Yes. I can see the language. You can your, see now? Your mouth. Uh, yes, I see now. Oh, can you see now? I can see now. Okay. My answer is letter B, teacher. Letter B, teacher Anne. Okay, teacher will repeat. Becky, don't forget your aunt Jane's coming to stay tonight. So can you make sure that the house is neat when you go out this afternoon? Mom. Okay, so this is the mom of Becky. Okay, sending message to her that... Her mom, oh, yeah, sorry, her aunt Jane is coming in the afternoon. And the aunt will stay overnight in their house. Okay. So mom is writing to what? Your answer is letter B. Ask Vicky to tidy the house before she leaves. A. Tell Vicky, Becky to stay at home to see her aunt. C, remind Becky to go her aunt's house. The answer is letter B. Uh, let's see. Correct. Very good. Yes, exactly. It's asking Becky to tidy or to clean the house before she leaves because her aunt is coming to stay tonight. Yay. Wow. Very smart girl. Number five. Okay, look at number five, Ruby. Okay, number five. Okay, look at this. Anyway, teacher will just read. School fitness center. From the end of August, the fitness center will be closed during the weekends and evenings. Okay. Okay, Ruby, in five minutes time, the Zoom will disappear. <laughs> okay, so you can get in again. So we have five minutes because it's 38 minutes here. So we have left uh, about, okay, just okay, continue. Okay, I'll just remind you later. Okay, teacher will go to the bathroom a minute. You wait me for one minute. Okay, okay. okay. Please try to answer.
Okay now? Okay. Uh, I just a um, little big picture. I can't hear anything. Can you hear me now, Ruby? Okay, I hear you. Okay. So, the school fitness center will blank what? Okay, again, school fitness center, from the end of August, the fitness center will be closed during weekends and evening. It's not open. So, the school fitness center will, what is your answer? Letter? Answer, letter? Now, let me see. Okay, okay. okay. A. I think it's C. Letter C. Letter C, teacher Anne. Oh, it's letter A. It is changed its opening hours at the end of August because at the end of August, it will be closed during weekends and evening. Weekends and evening, it's closed. Okay? Okay? Okay. Yes, okay. So, by the way, okay, uh, uh, what's that? <laughs> Ruby, we will have to continue this next meeting. We still have one minute. Okay, I mean, 